Mahatma Gandhi, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Now we are all aware of this great soul and how he you know, ushered in the Indian independence, the struggle for Indian independence, non-violence, satyagraha and so forth. What people are not aware of is what he actually practiced, a very, very ancient idea of leadership which started with its roots from the Ramayana and Mahabharata. This type of leadership is called servant leadership. Now why should one become a leader? Is it because of his need to lead, for his need to have power, for his need to react to a situation, his need to you know, right the wrongs? The Indian concept of leadership says one needs to lead to serve the people. The people require service. People require your contribution to make their lives better. And from there starts the concept of servant leadership. You assume the mantle of leadership to serve people. And what Gandhiji did was to apply this ancient wisdom into the freedom struggle. Let me give you an example. We all know about the salt satyagraha. Now he sat down and contemplated. Contemplated would not be the right word. He actually connected by going inside himself. He connected to the infinite. And from that infinite, he gets the drive to understand what would disturb the British Raj, the empire where the sun never sets. By making salt, he is not only telling this big, huge monster of an empire, an, an imperialist government, he is not only saying that I don't care for your rules, but he is also saying to the common man that you can make your own salt. You can be completely independent. You don't need to go to the bazaar and buy such things. With the independence, you start getting that little freedom that is required. And from that small freedom, the independence of making my own salt for my own cooking, the idea starts developing that we can achieve independence of the whole country. Everybody can contribute towards this struggle. Now this small, you know, making your own salt, a fistful of salt translates into a huge nationwide campaign. It fires the imagination of people. And that's how the whole Satyagraha movement, you know, becomes instrumental. Very, very important in getting India's freedom. That is the biggest contribution of Mahatma Gandhi. And of course, we know that he has influenced a lot of other world leaders, whether it is Martin Luther King Jr. or whether it is Nelson Mandela or President Obama, Narendra Modi, a lot of people, everybody spares by Gandhi and his application of servant leadership.